Hello guys, my name is Przemek Chujecki and in this episode we're going to focus on the most popular course on Coursera right now and that is Machine Learning by Andrew and G from Stanford. This is literally the course that started Coursera. Uh, so Coursera was co-founded by Andrew and G and basically it all started with this massive online machine learning course, which is right now accessible for free. So you don't have to pay anything for the course, especially if you don't want to have a certificate. You just go uh, to the course website, I will give you a link down below. Uh, you click enroll where you see right now, go to course on my website uh, and then you are basically can choose between having a certificate or having just the access to all the lectures and exercises. And if you just want to have access to lectures and exercises, that's fine. And you just go and you can read, uh, watch everything there is in the course. And so as you can see, this is pretty popular course. It has already over 3 million students. So it's really, really massive. And of all the ratings, it's 4.9 out of 5. So it's massively positive rated. It's a perfect course if you want to start with machine learning and especially if you already did something with Python, you feel comfortable with doing some basic manipulations with data like uh, using NumPy, Pandas and so on, uh, then this is the course to go next, especially if you're interested in pursuing career in machine learning, deep learning and so on. Uh, and for example, you want to take deep learning by deep learning AI. Uh, specialization which I described in the previous video then this course is perfect for you to start with so let's have a look at the course inside so there will be like I think 11 weeks in total of uh, everything so it takes three months to complete everything every single course every single video and do everything uh, so basically if you look down below the second paragraph here will tell you what to focus on in this course so basically you learn all the basic stuff uh, supervised learning, parametric non-parametric algorithms, supported vector machines, kernels, ne neural networks. Then you go into super unsupervised learning with clustering, dimensionality reduction, recommender systems, and deep learning. And finally, there's a, a different videos about best practices in machine learning spread throughout different weeks. Uh, so bias and the variance, how they interact with each other. Uh, how to approach machine learning, AI, and different use cases, case studies, applications in real life, uh, or the problems that might be used commercially, like for example, web search, anti-spam, but also smart robots, medical informatics, audio database mining, and others. So there's plenty, plenty of stuff which is really interesting. So let's have a look at the course itself. So it starts with introduction, basically five videos, 42 minutes, about general idea of what is machine learning, how what is supervised and supervised learning, and then you have a bunch of text to read. Uh, so this is the first week is pretty basic. Uh, anyone can start it right away and then see whether that's going good or not. Uh, this is pretty general. Uh, some more mathematics happens already in linear regression with one variable. So that's also part of week one. Uh, so those are basic terms uh, inside with like cost function, gradient descent, and it's all building up towards towards neural networks and the, the, ve the very simple neural networks. Uh, so as you can see, there are plenty of short text and, uh, and videos. And then we're coming to linear algebra review. So for those who want to have a refresher on linear algebra, it's perfect. So basic operations on matrices and vectors. Uh, this is really important because basically neural networks are passing or are sort of operation on matrices over and over and uh, composition of those. So it's always good to have a refresher here uh, if you need one. And then we're starting the second week with linear regression. So one of the simplest way uh, to get into machine learning. So gradient descent is explained. Uh, you have a bunch of readings to do basically on how to install everything and set up your own environment to work on. Um, so this is still pre-era where everything you can find was already on Coursera. Like for example, with IBM data science course where actually you have everything built within Coursera course and you don't even have to go outside uh, the course to do the exercises. So we, here you have some Octave MATLAB tutorial. Um, probably you can, you can skip it. 
uh, especially that you'll be using most of the time just Python. Uh, then we're going to logistic regression, that's week three already, um, classification, uh, cost functions again, uh, then different uh, aspects of regularization and how that uh, allows you to prevent the model from overfitting. Uh, so that's also important. Then week four is neural networks representations. Uh, so a bunch of stuff about models. Uh, again, as you can see, most of these weeks are something around like hour, two hours of reading videos, stuff like that. And then you probably have some exercises or quizzes at the end of that. So here you even have that it's expected to have five hours to complete. So it's not heavy when it comes to time and it's really something you can do on the side. Uh, whether you're studying something or working already somewhere, it's definitely possible to uh, to do that and uh, complete this, this course. So another five hours for week five. Uh, this starts with ne neural networks and learning, training the machine learning algorithms. Um, and the digital recognition is probably MINIST that you train on, um, yeah, different examples. Then advice for applying machine learning, uh, system design, super vector machines, unsupervised learning, uh, dimensionality reduction, uh, anomaly detection is coming next, uh, recommender system. So everything we talked uh, in the beginning uh, is coming here and it ends with this application example on photo OCR. Uh, so identify, identifying things and recognizing objects on photos, images. Uh, so a standard task as well, great to learn. So that's basically it, this is what I wanted to cover. Uh, as you see, the, the reviews are uh, just phenomenal uh, and it's really, really too easy to pick it up. So in total, if you were to do the whole course, most of the weeks were from around five, six hours. The last weeks are probably shorter to complete, but uh, I think they don't count really um, quizzes here. Or do, yeah, they do count. Okay, so probably it's something around 40, 50 hours to complete the whole course. So yeah, I, I highly recommend this one if you're just starting with machine learning. Uh, I really enjoyed it at the time when I did it like a couple of years ago, I guess, uh, to see and it, it was really great. I really en enjoy how Andrew and G is uh, really explaining everything. It's always very clear uh, with clear things on the whiteboard. So that's great. So yeah, highly recommend it. I'll give you a link down below. If you like this kind of content and want to have more on Coursera courses, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.